Eh, with the towel break. I know. Ah, oh, ¿qué hice? Espera. Welcome to Buenos Aires! We finally made it! One of the most exciting destinations as well. I know it's only city but it's so cool. We only been here half of the morning and we love it already. Yeah, exactly. So we've been excited about coming here for a long, long time. We've got quite a few bits planned here and we're going to be here a few... Uh, twice. Twice? Yeah, we're yeah, going to be here twice. twice. It's going to be split up by us going to Montevideo in Uruguay for a bit and then we're going to come back here. Yes. Yeah? We're really excited. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be really cool. So uh, we are in Park Plaza Congreso. We, so that's the Argentinian Congress over there, that amazing building. So what we're we doing today, we've got uh, actually a free walking tour. And that's we arrived a little bit earlier actually for a change. And that's what we're waiting for. We're just going to enjoy this walking tour. Enjoy the amazing thing. I mean, you just walk around this city. It's so and cool. Beautiful buildings everywhere. It's so Honestly, big, yeah. Everywhere. Everything's big. Yeah, it's lovely. Below the dome, you see the first statue. It's a woman in a Roman car, pulled by horses. The woman represents the Argentinian Republic. The horses, the people from Argentina, they reign the law. And he has been here in the square since 1907. When I have Argentinians in the tour, I normally ask them if they if they knew this was an original, one of the original variants. It's not something very well known. People think it might be a replica or something. But it's not a replica. It's one of the original. So something very interesting, something very important to have in a public square. That avenue right there. That's Avenida de Mayo. First avenue built in South America, 1894. So they say it goes from the historical center to the political center. And we're going to walk the whole thing. It's about 12 blocks, okay? Not too long. So that's one of the original Thinker statues. Yeah, that's really cool, yeah. Especially it's like not many restaurants museums. Restaurant museums, that's the only one not in a museum. Yeah. It's quite interesting that it's France influence. It's called uh, Paris of South America. Yeah. Apparently. We, did, we did not know that. I had it like a bit of in America. Like, you feel Barcelona? Yeah, oh, Barcelona. Like, yeah. It's really nice, really nice go, place. Go Paris. Yeah. There? You do? Alright. This behind me is Palacio Barolo. Barolo Palace. Very famous building for many reasons. First, because it was the tallest building in South America from 1923 until 1935. 100 meters tall. Also, because it's very different uh, from the rest of the buildings in the area. It's not European looking. It has a lot of influence from India. The same architect designed a twin building in Montevideo and the idea was to create a bridge of light between the two cities. If I ask you to guess what the person in there is doing, what would you say the person is doing? Singing. 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 Any other guess? No problem singing. Oh, she said uh, eating a hamburger earlier. Okay. Yeah. Well, singing and eating a hamburger are pretty common answers. Okay. You look like a big one, right? <laughs> But it's a microphone, it's an old microphone. She's actually giving a speech. That's Evita Eva Perón. You know, from the Madonna movie. It's a ministry. That one is one of the two buildings in Avenida, de, Avenida 9 de Julio, which is where we are. This was the widest avenue in the world until 20, 2006. 140 meters, all right? From side to side. 22 lanes. This is Café Tortoni, most famous coffee shop in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. It's the second oldest in the city. It's from 1858. It became, at the beginning of the 20th century, a meeting point for writers and poets and tango singers. And that gave it a lot of fame. And it's still very famous. They keep it like it was at the beginning of the 20th century, so it's very beautiful inside. Very ample, marble tables, wooden chairs, a lot of paintings on the walls. You see the flag, not the huge flag in the square, but the flag on top of Casa Rosada. When the president is in there, there's a second smaller flag right, right below. Like uh, with the Queen Buckingham Palace, something like that. Yeah, that now, talking about the building, the building is from 1898. Hey, I talked about her at the beginning, Madonna. You can hear the shoot Evita, right? She asked the president if they could shoot from inside Casa Rosada. And the president said, sure, why not? 
So she was in one of the balconies singing Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. They filled the square with extra when in 94 is floating. They shot the scene. Some people came to protest because they didn't like the idea of Madonna in Casa Rosada and doing, uh, playing Evita. Uh, but the, the, the scene was shot, the movie came out, all good. Now, 10 years before that, 1986, in one of the balconies, this time it wasn't Madonna, it was Maradona with the World Cup, second World Cup for Argentina. I told you about him before, a uh, very important player. And the square, of course, was filled with people. And nobody protested that day. It was way too happy. Asking wow, people, look at this building. Uh, yes, because uh, one, one time. And he's standing in the same spot where the flag of Argentina was raised for the first time in the province of Buenos Aires or in the city of Buenos Aires in 1812. So it's very important when it comes to city events. They close uh, partially the, the 9 of July Avenue. They place a stage over there and they have their events. Also, when it comes to, to um, protests, demonstrations, if they're, if they're not in the Congress, if they're not in Casa Rosada, they're normally in 9 of July Avenue where the obelisk is because they can again close the avenue and people get to see the protesters. And it's very important when it comes to celebrations, especially football related celebrations. If Boca Juniors wins the league, people go celebrate there all night. River Plate wins the league, people go celebrate all there all night. Argentina wins a major trophy. Argentina won Copa America, very important trophy in South America, last year against Brazil, in Brazil, so it was huge. All of the, uh, well, not all, all of them, but a lot of, Argentinians went to the obelisk all night until the morning to celebrate. And follow me over here. Then I'll leave and you can stay here. Okay. Wow. Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have San Martín there? And the three female figures represent Argentina, Chile, and Peru, the three countries I told you to help liberate. We thought we'll try the coffee shop. Cafe Tortini. One of the most famous coffee shops in the world. So we just ate here. Famous people come here. Would you have a tea? So we just came out, we had a nice time in the restaurant. We didn't film too much because a couple we were on the tour with, uh, they were in the queue next to us. So we sat with them and yeah, had a it was chat. really nice. Uh, look at the queue now, just to get in. So yeah, a lot of famous people come here. Albert Einstein, Clintons, Katy Perry. And a lot of famous authors, writers, all sorts of people. So we are outside of Congress, just in a, uh, at night, I guess. There's some protests going protests on. Protests going on over there. And the Congress looks amazing. It does. Such a nice building. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow for our awesome dancing. We can't dance, we so can't good dance. luck watching yeah. this. It's going to be embarrassing. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah, it's the next morning we came to San Telmo. And apparently, it's a cool little area. Apparently, it's a little markets as well. We found this little food hall place, which looks mm. awesome. So much choice. I want the cheese plates with the little cheese. Look at meat, nice. Oh my god, look at this. It's massive. I don't know where to go. Um, maybe make the lights So, uh, really cool you saw so many food choices, we're kind of like spoiled for choice. But there's this cheese we want to try. Yeah, like some, yeah, like but what is it? Cheese. I don't know, I just saw a cheese cookie where they sort of like warm it up and then yeah. warm it up. Alpha Horace. Oh. With a low, little bite, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Do you want one? Yeah. 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 So much cheese.
good. So we just finished our cheese uh, sandwich. It was so good. Uh, loads of other people had like just meat with cheese part on top, which we will come back and try soon. Yeah. Came out of the food court. Uh, oh it's my incredible. God, you could spend that hours like going trying. You could literally, you could literally spend that all day going yeah. from place to place, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. We went to Dan wanted to try one of the desserts, but sadly uh, they were just so slow serving, and we have um, salsa. salsa. Exactly. So it doesn't look good, but tango, not salsa. We've got a tango. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking salsa. Sure, we said tango, salsa so many times. We're going to tango. There's a protest down there. Thousands of people. Look how far back it goes. Evita. Yeah, movement Evita. Oh, look. How do you need police now? They close it down this whole avenue. Pretty much. Can you see any police now? Yeah, we're told there's protests here all the time. All the time, by different biggest things. One they've seen in South America. This, is, this is enormous. Okay, we're here, ready for tango. We're at the studio. Let's go in and see how bad we are. Yeah. Okay, so we just finished the tango lesson. Yeah, we did it hour, over an hour. Yeah, over an hour. And uh, we had such a great time. It was fun, it was really good. We weren't very good, but it was very she, good. She was so kind, she said we're not bad. She like, said we're not bad. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know, I just, well, apparently we do better than other beginners. Yeah, that's, that's what, what she, she said. said, yeah. Whether that's true or not. We, we started to get it though, I think. I think so, I got it. Once like it clicks that it's just like walking, that's the dance. I was like, okay. Yeah, we chewed on each other's feet a few times. Yeah. Uh, we highly fun. recommend it. I highly recommend it. Uh, we can, yeah. We 
could put the link to what is it, her number or her Instagram? I went on Instagram. Instagram. Okay, we'll put her Instagram below because yeah, she was so friendly, so patient, so definitely recommend it. So now, so good, yeah, yeah after person. that, we're heading back to the hostel, and then we're gonna head to Palermo. Yes. It's a district in Buenos Aires. So we've come to the Hippodrome in Palermo and it's a big day of horse racing today. Somehow we just made it. Which one do you like? Number seven to be oh, definitely number nine. We like number seven, yeah? We've got to figure out how to put a bed. He's a naughty one. Six looks confident, I'm gonna go six. Six has got it in the bag. Should go try and put a bet on. Number six, soy intense. Cash has gone for number seven, Malibu. We're just gonna stay for the one race at the Hippodrome in Palermo. We did try to uh, make a bet at the bookie window, but the queues were the queues massive. Were insane and going yeah, so slow. So slow, we would have never made it on time to watch the race. So here we go, we're waiting for our winners. Big money coming in. <laughs> so we've done it online on the app. Yeah, actually so, William here works here. Yeah. It's quite good. So we're just there lining up now. If you, I don't know if you can see the screen, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm confident. Well, only one we of us can win. We just looked at the horses when they were walking and decided so we don't know anything about them. No. My dog, my dog um, broke leg a year ago. Here we go. He's winning. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, Two, five, and four. It's quite nice. Yours is right at the back. Quite chilled. No, that is not. Uh, so we we have to race back to town now. We only had time for one race. So one race, and we failed. Mine came fifth. Cash's came last. So, um, anyway, it was fun, yeah? It was, it was um, fun. Horse racing in Argentina, yeah. Exactly. But I'll say, compared to English horse racing, they go crazy. Nice. They go yeah. crazy at English horse racing. Yeah. And here, there was no sound really whatsoever. Yeah. One person was shouting and then us a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to race to the restaurant now, so we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I'm racing. Okay, so we're in Palermo, a district in Buenos Aires. There's restaurants everywhere. Each time we say Buenos Aires, I'm like, what? Are we? <laughs> we come to this place, Dona Tota. So this got recommended to us by an American family. They said it was really good steak. They had a food tour and went here. Yeah. So, uh, and it's really reasonably priced. We went to see a few different ones, but they're quite expensive. And this is so cheap. A lot cheaper. Six pounds? Six pounds. A steak for six pounds. So. That's how much you buy a raw one in Tesco. Yeah. We went for Cabernet Sauvignon from Mendoza. And if we would like to be posh, what you do, you check the colour. It's your room. Okay. And you drink it. Is it good? Mm, I like it. That's my favourite red. Yeah, I like it too. And hopefully it will go with the steak. But I think what's with red wine, it's the um, atmosphere. If we would have bought this wine and just drank in a hostel, it wouldn't taste Probably like not, it. you're right. I think that's what it is. Uh, so, uh, we just came back. What time is it? Uh, 10. Did we make it? Oh, I wanted to make it at 10 and it's 10 past 10, 10 we past made 10. it back. It's been we, a long day. It's been a crazy long day. We actually got stopped by police walking back from the restaurant. They arrested three kids really. Uh -huh. 
I don't know, they were like 13, 14 maybe. Like yeah. yeah. And the police asked us to be witnesses um, when they were searching them. And we were like, oh, what do we do? So uh, we thought like, we can't say no really. So we said, okay. So we signed a bunch of forms yeah. in Spanish. We might have said that we are the criminals. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they were really lovely and they were really appreciated for help and then we took a metro first time that was really easy so we were walking around at night in Buenos Aires central areas and few outskirts bits but that in central felt fine yeah, yeah. that's alright yeah it's not yeah, too bad exactly. uh, mm. we are crazy tired so we're gonna just brush our teeth wash our face and yeah exactly yeah. so that's the end of our first couple of days in buenos aires so it's been fantastic yes we love this place lovely but it's too busy <laughs> so much to do yes so much if you come to buenos aires spend here a week <laughs> don't yeah, push yourselves exactly how many steps we've done today not know. counting our dancing we didn't have our phones when we were dancing for oh, an hour our lesson, so, we did. Uh, so we've done 27,000 steps. 27,000. Plus tango. Ah, so we're so tired. Yeah. So, so uh, off we go to That's the end of our first Buenos Aires one. We've got another one. We've got another few. We've got a football game. We've got. And we're coming back after one, two videos. So there'll be more from Buenos Aires. But yeah. Hope not as busy. Hope not as busy. See you then. Bye.